All right guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you on my Droid Bionic how to install Jelly Bean 4.2.2, which is uh, gonna be CM10.1. So prerequisites on this are gonna be to have root permission with either or um, Super User, right down here in the bottom, or Super Sue, whichever, it doesn't make any difference, just to have root permission. And you're gonna wanna have safe strap 3.05 or higher. I have 3.11, I think, installed on this one. So let's go ahead and power the device off. This is in stock right now. And we're gonna boot into safe strap. Um, so the things you're gonna wanna have is you're gonna wanna have the ROM, the uh, G apps or the uh, Google applications and um, have those on your external SD card before you start this process. So let's go ahead and power back on. We're going to see the splash screen and you're going to push the little menu button down the bottom of your phone to enter safe strap. Um, splash screen's red right now. It'll be green when you reboot. It's only red whenever you're running the stock uh, stock ROM or ROM slot whatever you want to call it so first thing we're gonna do is um, I'd always make a backup of your stock ROM I have already done it I'm not gonna do it but you would right now red is stock so you'd hit backup you'd swipe across the bottom and it would make a backup for you we're gonna go back what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate a ROM slot um, we're gonna activate this one which is called Speedlight and we're gonna activate it and then I'm gonna actually change the nickname so that I know what it is we're going to call it CM10.1. Come on, back up. Let's go. There we go. So CM10.1. Then hit go. And we'll go back. And you can see it is in green now. And it is called CM10.1. It says ROM slot 1. So we're activated on that ROM slot. So the next step you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go to wipes and we're going to wipe cache pretty simple here this is pretty much standard delvic go ahead and wipe that factory reset go ahead it won't take too long here system wipe that off now anything you do since rom slot one is enabled it's only going to be done to that rom slot so you're not wiping off your stock system or anything like that it's not a big deal if you don't know how to use safe strap or get root permission on your device or any of that stuff i have videos on all that this is just to install the ROM. Um, watch those videos, please, first before starting this process. They're really going to help you understand what I'm doing here. Uh, so let's go back, and then we're going to go to installs. And actually, this is the place where I have my ROM. It's actually right here. It's uh, CM10.1, and this is a nightly, because which is really cool about CM10 right now for the Droid Bionic. It is now be being done as nightlies through the Saijin Mod website which is really cool and that's all thanks to Hashcode he's an awesome developer so you guys give him big props um, also these files can be found in a link down below I'll put it in the video description down below so we're just gonna hit that one make sure it's listed CM10 from 2013 uh, March 11th and flash, go slide across to flash it probably gonna take uh, I'm gonna say maybe like two to five minutes to flash this and then we'll go to the next step so um, while we're waiting for this to flash, actually, I'm just going to tell you guys, um, most stuff is functioning in here. There are some things that still need to be worked on. Um, one of them is graphical tearing. It just means if you're moving through your screens really quick, it'll look kind of choppy. Um, hash codes are going to be working on that, but that is a problem. He needs to change some binaries and things like that to get that to work correctly. Also, the uh, hardware composer which has to do with some display things is also having some issues so we'll, we'll check it out though but just so you guys know everything else should be working 4G phone Wi-Fi rotation GPS multimedia messages all that kind of good stuff alright so we got the ROM flashed we're gonna go back here and then we're gonna want the Google applications and these are the Google applications for uh, the newest Google applications which are 4.2.2 4 and these are from 2013 uh, March 1st so select those, make sure they're listed, they are, and go ahead and flash them. Uh, again, probably about a minute. So pretty, pretty simple. Um, let this thing flash. We're going to reboot and check out the boot animation. So it's right here, reboot system. 
Uh, sometimes I had to hit this button twice for some reason. There we go. And we should reboot uh, and check out the boot animation. And then I'll, I'm going to go through some configuring and I'll show you guys the ROM. So pretty simple process here. Not a really big thing to do. Um, pretty easy. Should like I say pretty much be fully functional. So here's your splash screen. We're in green now because we're running a safe slot or a ROM slot. Um, it's a safe system, so that's why it's in green. Because everything you can do on here, if you mess it up, you can always go back to the stock slot, and you know you'll be able to get the phone fully functional just with a reboot and going into safe strap right there. So here's your boot animation. This is Saijin Mod 10 boot animation. Pretty sweet, pretty cool. So let's let this load, and I'll get back to you when I got it booted up. So we are uh, booted up. Let's just go skip through these in, uh, startup settings here. So it shouldn't take too long. I'm going to skip my Wi-Fi. I'm going to just kind of skip through this stuff. Skip for now. You can see my 4G is already coming up here on top, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to skip through this also, just because I am just want to show you guys the ROM before we get into all these settings. Come on. It's still kind of warming up, so that's why it's kind of responding slowly right now. Every ROM, it takes a little bit to kind of, you know, get itself oriented how it wants to be before it starts really functioning well. Also, what I found is that most ROMs, you're going to want to have, uh, you know, get some things set up on them, re let them sit for about 30 minutes, reboot the phone, and then it's pretty much like kind of baked into it. Everything gets starts functioning really well after you do that. So just kind of a heads up on that. Um, also, that probably took about five minutes for it to boot up. First boot up always takes a long time. And after that, it'll be like a minute, just like your normal boot up would be. Uh, so here we go. This is your, your basic settings here. Um, nothing too, too terribly exciting. Let's see what you got in your app drawer. Close that out. So you have Apollo. That's different. Your DSP manager for audio. You do have your Saijin Mod file browser, which is also has root permission to get you into the file system, which is cool. You do have Terminal and Torch. And then I think you just have your pretty much your standard widgets in here, which, yeah, it pretty much looks like your standard stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, check out your settings. So it does have this uh, Android 4.2.2 setting screen here with your battery percentage and your signal along with some other quick toggles in here. I'm going to go into settings and go to about phone and right here you can see you are on Android 4.2.2 and it is Saijin Mod Nightly for Targa which is the Dread Bionic. Pretty sweet. Let's see what other kind of settings we have in here. Now this is interesting. We have system. It says super user okay I'm not sure how this functions I've not seen this style set up before baked into the settings uh, it looks like the super user is somehow baked into the settings in here which is kinda neat uh, you do have some profile stuff you can turn on and off right there and then you have your basic side you mod settings which are your launcher your lock screen your themes and your system so we're gonna go into launcher and launcher is trebuchet launcher so you have all of its normal settings in there you have your lock screen for that kind of stuff um, your status bar, all your other tweaks for battery notifications and uh, hardware keys and all kinds of other goodies in here are all through here, which is what makes Saijin Mod so fun, in my opinion at least. You do have your themes, like always. You can download those from Google Play. Um, yeah, there you go. That's pretty much what, what we're working with here. Let's do check out your lock screen really quick. Let's turn this thing off and see what we got. So you have this lock screen, which you unlock. You also have... Let's see here if it'll do it. You have, you can add widgets on here. And then this will open your, actually open up your camera. Yeah, which should, uh, gallery stop. Let's see what we got here. Maybe it doesn't like being open that way. Let's try it this way. Hmm. Maybe camera still isn't functioning right. Doesn't look like it anyway. We may want to try like a third party camera app or something like that to see if that will function. Yeah, it's definitely having problems with the camera on this build at least. Yep. We'll try a third party app here. Let me try that out right now actually. Alright guys, well, 
I went ahead and installed another camera. This is Ice Cream Sandwich camera, but should still function on here. And it is not functioning for us at all. So we definitely have an issue there with the camera, which is really kind of a big bummer because side Jamon is really cool and it can be a real big downer for a lot of people. You can always switch back to your standard, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, stock ROM and use your camera that way. But uh, kind of sad there. But there you go, guys. That's pretty much my review of CM10, uh, which is a nightly from Saijin Mod, um, and the install on it. So hope you guys like it. Uh, if you do, please give me a big thumbs up and hit the like button. Also check out my website right up here. Got a lot of great information on there on the Droid Bionic itself. As always, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.